Nice and lovely. Welcome back to the kitchen here with Chef Ricardo cooking show. Today, today, today is the day that the Lord has made. All right. First thing what we're going to do, we're going to make a green curry chicken today. All right. Um, it's going to be fantastic and it's going to be really nice. So first thing what we're going to do is put on some natural blending season one roughly about a eh, I must say that it's working out about eh, less than a tablespoon all right look at it so that beautiful and nice that exactly what we need all right um, as I say today today it's going to be a eh, beautiful day a really fantastic day the day wish you would never forget I'm going to make one of the world number one green curry chicken all right so now we got about two four six eight cove of garlic which I'm going to be crush up now and put them inside of this green curry chicken see look at this Getting all of the flavor from the chick from the garlic. So the first thing what you need to do is to marinate the chicken. Get the, all of that flavor from every little thing what you're gonna put inside of it. But the more um, garlic is the better for the chicken. Because you want to smell the flavor coming out of the garlic. And I must say to you, I'm using what I'm using at the moment is chicken breast. The dice, I dice it up. Alright. You can get the one dice already at the supermarket. But my one I just brought it and I dice it up myself. Then we're going to put a large tablespoon of mixed herb. It's a, mixed herb is a must. And diced curry chicken, green curry, a little bit more. Then we're just gonna use this and mix it up. Mix him up like a Just gonna simple. All right, that is fantastic. Now we're going to put some green curry inside of it the, the green curry you can get that at the lo local supermarket to buy so we're gonna put one two three four five five tablespoon roughly about six tablespoon it'll be working out too after the green curry paste straight inside of it Mix it up. I'm gonna put on some pear pear season on it. Pear pear season just have a little bit of spice, you know. What I mean? Chicken season just a little bit, not much. One tablespoon. That is lovely. What we're we gonna do next? Some white onion. We're 
wanna use one and a half white onion. Onion is a must. What I'm going to do is put a piece of a ginger inside of it. Nice and lovely. As you can see it for yourself. Then just mix up everything together. That is fantastic and amazing some pepper so what we're gonna do is put down this fire to rest for about two hours after two hours we're going to cook it all right guys so let's leave that for two hours for it to rest wrap it and put it down we, don't, we didn't put any salt if it was salt we will add it so stay tuned with chef ricardo beautiful so basically i must say the curry chicken is marinated over the last three to four hours but what i'm gonna do now is cook it some of it not all of it some so i'm gonna be spraying with some light oil I'm going to be using a rough about half of this chicken. I use rough about half of it. All right, nice. So we're gonna cook it off for about 15 minutes on a medium size eat. Nice and lovely. So basically, look for the amount of liquid that come from the the curry, Thai green curry. All right. But what I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a little secret. All right. Right over here, I just boil off some potato. You may not seen it really well because of the camera, but what I'm going to do is use. The liquid from the potato and put a little bit inside of the liquid inside of the curry like this nice and lovely basically as you can see cooking down 
So I'm going to add the potato to it, and the potato definitely will give it a body. stove a little bit and taste it. Mm. Thai green curry, amazing. Really fantastic and a nice um, chicken stock. I'm just gonna put a chicken stock inside of it for flavor. Here it is. Chicken stock, you know? Just for flavor. Nothing else. Look at that. Really amazing. Secondly, we normally do this at home. Just put a little bit of coconut milk inside of it. Not much, just a little bit of coconut milk, you know. Then taste it. Mm. That is amazing. Look at that. So allow it make it cook down for a nice good 15 minutes and a medium size eat. Getting the gravy and everything just cook kick in one time. 